We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Chef Heidi Curry is here from Dunkin' Donuts. We're making Dunkin' Donut apple cider glazed turkey and cranberry meatballs. You have no idea how happy I am today. <laughs> have I told you? I, I probably have told you about five or six times how happy I am. Yes. The smell from everything you're making is coming through the building and it smells fantastic. Yes, well, we're really excited about this new Dunkin' inspired recipe. Um, again, like you said, it's an apple cider glazed turkey and cranberry meatballs and we're using our Dunkin Donuts apple cider along with our corn muffin okay. in this recipe and that kind of helps bring all the flavors together in addition to uh, ground turkey meat and fresh cranberries and all of your other great um, herbs you get your thyme and right. sage and so yeah so let's go through uh, bit by bit of yep. what we'll need for this recipe okay so again like I said you're gonna need a 16 ounce medium okay. apple cider from Dunkin Donuts it's only the best it's only the best <laughs> absolutely along with our great corn muffin right. and this both of them will be um, able to add great flavor to the meatballs along with you're gonna need some onions and fresh sage and thyme you're also gonna need salt and pepper okay. a little bit of cream and milk whole grain mustard and that's really it. It's very easy and it's perfect for this time of year because it's party season. Everybody's going to be entertaining. Right. So. If you as a chef, it has to be exciting yep. to be working for a company like Dunkin' Donuts. You know, you're your chef there and to come up with different creative ideas each time to, to show everybody. Yeah, we were really excited to come up with this recipe. Again, we, we were looking for something new, something fall, um, something, of course, with our ingredients. And these are just really two great ingredients that are going to highlight this recipe. And it looks really easy easy to make. It's very easy to make. So I could make it, you're promising me? I promise you, you can make it, you can make it ahead know. of time. It, it's kind of a mac really and cheese easy. kind of guy out of the box. It, mac and cheese-ish. <laughs> mac and cheese-ish. Easy-ish. Easy-ish. Okay, we have all our ingredients ready to go. In the meantime, back to you. It's going very well, and yes, it does smell very good here in the Roadshow Kitchen. Today we're here with Chef Heidi Curry from Dunkin' Donuts. She's promised me this is something easy, even I can do. <laughs> This one I'm is. Gonna, I'm going to take your word for this it. This one's even easier. Even easier. Even All right. easier. All right. What are we going to make? So what we're making is pumpkin munchkin whoopie pies. Oh my God. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect for a party. Um, so you're going to want to pick up a 25 count of munchkins from your Dunkin' Donuts okay. next time you go. Right. And we have the pumpkin munchkins I know all about them. that I've already cut up yes. in half. What you're going to want to do for the whoopie pie filling is, in a food processor, mix cream cheese okay. along with confectionery sugar and our pumpkin latte. All right. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. You're with me so far. Great. So then once those are all mixed together, then you're going to take a pumpkin donut that you also pick up from, from Dunkin' Donuts, and you're going to break that up into the food processor until it's just combined. And I've already done that right so here for you. So then you'll get some of the taste, some of the like crumbs from, from it? You're going to, yeah, it. you can see you have. Yeah, I can see it in, inside there. You've got the crumbs and it brings great color, great, okay. great flavor. Right. Um, I've also whipped up some whipped cream and you're going to just gently fold this into the mix and it's going to make it nice, light and airy. You know, Heidi, after everything you've brought in here today, there may need to be a hug in order. <laughs> <laughs> I may be hugging I, you before you <laughs> That's fine. Bring it. <laughs> so once this is done and all mixed, you're going to put it into a piping bag and I've already done that for okay. you too. Right. And what we're going to do is I'll let you do this. Right. This okay. is the fun part. You're okay. just going to pipe a little bit of this filling mm -hmm. onto the bottom of the munchkin and then you just top it and you're done. So you know this is this is something great that if you're looking for something to do with the kids on a weekend on a Saturday morning and you're wondering you know what the heck am I doing to do Absolutely. with these kids. Absolutely it's a great activity for the entire family. Mom can use the, make the food in the food processor and then the kids can do all the decorating. So once you're done yeah. you're gonna put on all the little tops there mm -hmm. and I've also made a plate for you Ooh. so you can see what it looks like when you're done nice. the great thing is is you can cut off I've also cut a little piece off the bottom of the munchkins to hold them make them stand up straight or you can let that's them that's why you got chef before your name <laughs> <laughs> chef and then what you or you could just leave them and let them sit on the side they look great either way it's great for a party and one then, oh, but we're, not we're not done we're not yet. done yet no you're gonna want to just sprinkle a little bit of that confectionery sugar right over the top no, which just for that Ooh, ah, uh, factor. Ooh, and Go ahead. There okay. it is. There's I'm going to have one of these. <laughs> Everybody else can be jealous. Back to you. <laughs> We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. It smells fantastic. Chef Heidi Curry is here from Dunkin' Donuts. We've got a lot of things cooking. We've already learned how to make the, the whoopie pies this morning. Yes. Now what are we going to make? Now we're going to make the apple cider glazed turkey cranberry meatballs. 
mouthful. All good. But really easy for you to make, All I right. promise. Okay. Okay, so what you're going to do is grab a medium apple cider from Dunkin' Donuts mm. along with your corn muffin. And to start making these meatballs, we're going to toast the corn muffin in the oven to get it nice and golden brown. And I've already done that here. Okay. And you're going to mix that in a small bowl. So basically what this is doing is this would would replace like breadcrumbs that is, you would normally make? Exactly. Okay. This is your breadcrumbs. It kind of helps keep the meatballs together. Right. And then you're going to add some milk and we're going to stir that together and that will help keep the meatballs keep together. Keep everything together. Keep everything together. Okay. Exactly. Then we're going to take some ground turkey, mm -hmm. going to okay. add frozen diced cranberries to it. Which is another it. thing a lot of people may not think to make their meatballs with. They may go the traditional route, but turkey is so much better for you. Turkey is better, and I'm actually using the 99% fat free turkey breast, so even, even better, better for even you. Better. You're going to use some fresh thyme, mm -hmm. fresh sage, salt and pepper, and then we're going to mix it all together. And then once that's all mixed, you're going to add your corn muffin mixture okay. into your turkey cranberry. And then you can go and in and then you mix it. And then you can make your meatballs. And then because this is, you can use this for dinner. You can have this for a fall party. You can make them whatever size you want. Right. So that's the best part. Um, and you're going to sear them in a pan, which right. I've already started mm -hmm. for you. And then the fun, really fun part is the sauce. So you're going to put some onions into a saute pan. Right. We're going to get them nice and brown like I've done here. Okay. And then you're going to... Olive oil on it first, so... Okay. You can use um, you can use canola oil, olive oil, okay. whichever one you like, a little right. pan spray, sure. whatever is fine. And then once the pan is, um, the onions are sauteed, you're going to add the apple cider. Right. So go so ahead and take add... this? Yep, yeah, medium and Dunkin' Donuts once again, apple cider. Medium, okay. Apple yes. Cider. All right, so pour that in. Stir that around. And then you're going to add the heavy cream, which I have right there for you. And about how much of the heavy cream do this, we need for this? This is a half a cup of heavy you cream. Pour the whole thing in? Pour the whole okay. thing. And in. you're good to go. Okay. Yep. And then whole grain mustard. All right. Let me use this here. Okay. <laughs> We're improvising. We're improvising. It works. See, it that's works. the best part about cooking is that... You can do whatever you want. So this, even this here alone, you could probably mix with the chicken dish. This sauce that we're making here would probably yeah. go great with if anything. If you prefer chicken meatballs, right. absolutely. Whatever you'd like. This is a really great sauce for any of those. Okay. If you wanted to do turkey tips, you can right. do that as do well. That too. Yep. Yeah, it smells great. So now that we've got that all mixed together, you've already browned your turkey, and you're just going to add the turkey meatballs to the sauce, all right. and then you're going to let them simmer on about medium-low heat for a good 45 minutes to an hour. Would it be best to cover this or just nope. let it be? let it be. Just right. let it be just as is, and that's the great part is that once this is all cooked, it's going to cook down, the sauce is going to get all over the meatballs, all you're going to have a beautiful gets into glaze, it. and that's exactly what I have right there for us. So nice. that is what it looks like as a finished product. Now we're talking. So now what we can do is if you want to grab that spoon again and then scoop them into that bowl, the, if you have a party at home, great as hors d'oeuvres. Great as hors d'oeuvres. I don't usually go to fancy parties like that where they have hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> but if you go to... <laughs> they don't usually invite me We're to those We're having kind of a party. fancy party for you right here. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So you're just going to put them in a bowl. Or if you want to have them for dinner, you can serve them along your your favorite side. Because Heidi, potatoes, if, the, if this was served at the party, I'd be the guy in the corner with just these with two the picks. With Just with the bowl. Yeah. You're the person that everybody tries to yeah. push away from right. the yeah. entryway exactly. because you get the appetizers first. Exactly. Yeah, we know you. <laughs> So you're just going to go ahead and grab a peck okay. and then try it. And this they'll be a little warm, but they're just perfect. They're a great one or two bite for an appetizer, for a, a party. Mm. Sometimes a little messy. You need a cocktail napkin. Mm. <laughs> They're really what good. Do you think? Good. I'm They're glad very, you like them. You good. really get the, you get all the flavors. The apple cider really works well. And with you can the really taste the, the, cranberry. And the cranberry. You can really get that cranberry flavor. It's a in great it too. fall flavor. Absolutely. Some of the other things you're working on. Do you want to tip us off? Uh, that I can't tell you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought we no had some sort of. Load. I thought we had some sort of rapport, Heidi. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> can't I do it. I can't do it. All right. I can't. This is really delicious, even though she won't give up the goods on anything else that she's <laughs> making. And if you want this recipe, you can head to our website, wpri.com.